All right. Through the magic te of television, or in this case, YouTube, um, it's been uh, b -b 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 nine days. Nine days since I started this. So this should be done. I'm pretty confident it's ready. Pull it out here. It was probably ready a day or two ago. It didn't get as cold as I thought it was going to be, so um, the warmer temperatures have probably had this uh, going pretty well. I can still see some gold. There's still some gold fingers in there, but I'll bet that gold is loose, and there's some stuff in there that doesn't show any fingers at all, so it's already fallen off. But I'll bet it's ready. So I'm going to turn off the pump. There we go, pumps off. And um, I'll pull, well first I'm gonna gear up before I do anything, because I don't want any of this stuff splashed on me, it's nasty, um, it's still very acidic, it could burn my skin, it's got a lot of heavy metals in it. Uh, I don't wanna get it on my skin, in my eyes, on my clothes, although I am wearing grungy clothes, so I'm not too worried about the clothes, but I don't want any of it soaking through onto my skin. So. I'm going to gear up. I've got uh, my leather apron here, I've got some rubber gloves, and I've got a face mask. So I'm going to gear up. I, told, I talked earlier in this video about uh, needing different, uh, different protective gear at different stages of the game. So this is a different stage. Now we're dealing with harsh chemicals, so I need different protective gear. So I'll, I'll gear up with this stuff before I do anything. And then what I'm going to do, it might be hard to understand me with the uh, face mask on, I'm going to dump the liquid out through this funnel. I've got some coffee filters in here. I mean, I have better filtration equipment, but I'm trying to show how a person can get started in this cheaply. So, you know, I've just got a plastic funnel, automotive funnel. I've got some coffee filters. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to filter the liquid off. And the filters are just going to catch any floating loose gold that's going to come out with the liquid. I'm going to try and leave most of it and all of the solid stuff in the, um, the the container there. I just want to leave it in there because there's going to be further processing down the road. But I need to get rid of the liquid first off. So I'm going to filter it through these coffee filters and uh, then we'll go on from there. And I'll show you that once I'm geared up. I'm all geared up. So pull the lid off here. Pull his hose out. Liquid out of it. Wet this filter down a little bit so it conforms to the funnel a little better. And like I said, I just want to pour off the bulk of the liquid here. and let it filter through. Just want to catch any floating bits of gold in the filters. There's, there's a few bits of gold floating in there. I don't know if they're showing up on the camera. But there's a few bits of gold there, so if the filter's doing its job, it's catching them. This is going to take a few minutes. I won't make you watch all of it. All right, I've done uh, filtering off all the liquid. It's all down here in this big beaker. And let me show you the gold that the filter caught. I'll take the camera out of the tripod. So there's a fair amount of gold that was caught on the filter. This was just loose gold floating around in the liquid. And there's still a lot of gold that seems attached to the fingers, but I'll bet they're really not. I'll bet they're just sort of sitting on there. We'll see. So anyway, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this filter and I'm going to put it over a clean beaker here. And I'm going to start spritzing it with uh, clean water. I want to get as much of that heavy metal salt residue out of the filter as I can because we're going to want the gold that's in this filter you know we don't want to throw that away but we don't want to bring a lot of this heavy metal residue along with us so 
I'll keep spritzing the filter until basically it turns white again. I get rid of all that green color. It'll take a little while and a few spritzes. Now this liquid here, don't throw it away. A couple reasons. Number one is toxic waste. Number two, it's still active. You can use this liquid for your next batch of fingers or even um, gold-plated pins. It, it's actually more active than it was when it was fresh because the metal salts that are in it now are highly corrosive to the base metals that gold is plated on. So this stuff is actually more active now than it was before. I'm not sure how many times you can reuse this liquid. I've never run up against a limit. If it seems like it's working, going a little slow, just, just throw a little more acid in it. You know, and, and, and maybe a, a dash splash of peroxide, and it, it rejuvenates it, and it, it just keeps working, keeps working. So I'm not throwing this out. I'm going to keep it for my next batch. I've got a bunch of pins I want to run, and I'll use this to uh, do the pins. Maybe I'll film that, too. Now we need to deal with these, and I'll show you how I do that. Let me put the camera back up on the tripod and get set up. We've got all these fingers in here that still seem to have a lot of gold on them. Let me grab a piece. There, that looks like that's still got a fair amount of gold on it. But I'll bet it's just sitting there. I bet if I take it and put it in this water and give it a little rub and a little swish, look at that. All the gold comes off. I need to rub the other side a little. All the gold comes off. And it's staying in the water. So there we go. So that's, that's clean of gold now. There's no gold on that. Let me grab another piece. That one's got gold on it. A little swish, a little rub. Both sides. This is easier with two hands. But I'll probably block the camera if I do that. And you can see, we're gold free again. And the gold is staying in this beaker of water. Grab one more. I have found that this is the easiest way to get the gold off of fingers. Um, there's other ways. You could use like a spray bottle with just some tap water and, and it, look, it comes off on my fingers. So I have to rinse my fingers every once in a while to get the gold off of them. You can use a spray bottle. That, that works pretty well, but it tends to blow the gold all over the place, and after a while I'll notice it's all up the sides of the beakers and a bits of it on the workbench, and I have to go chasing after it. But if I just put it in the water, rinse it and rub it, the gold comes right off, sinks to the bottom of the water, out of the way, and uh, everything's clean. So I need to go through this whole tub of fingers and get all the gold off. It only takes a few minutes. So anyway, like I said earlier, I won't make you watch the whole process. That one, that one's got almost all the gold off. I just have to just have to give it a quick rinse to get a few pieces stuck to it off. That's got a lot of fingers still on it, but again, they come right off. I mean, half of them come off as soon as it hits the water and splashes around a little bit, and I just have to give it a quick rub, get the rest of it off, and we're gold free. So like I said, I won't make you watch all of it. I'll do it, and then I'll show you how much gold accumulates in the beaker as I'm doing it. It's already starting to accumulate. See? Look at all that gold down there. It's going to be a lot more in a little while. i still got to go through all this stuff. But it'll be quicker with both hands, and uh, I'll get back to you in a little bit and show you what it looks like. All right, I'm maybe a third of the way done getting quite a bit of gold down the bottom of the beaker. Still got a long way to go. But I just thought I'd, you know, show you this. Um, the amount of gold that sticks to my gloved fingers when I'm doing this is pretty, pretty heavy. So, you know, I have to remember to wash my hands off in the water to get the gold off before I touch something else like the phone or anything else on my workbench. Otherwise, I'm going to transfer gold to it and lose gold. I'll have to go back and chase it down and get it back in the beaker. So be aware of that. The gold is, is really fine, really thin foils, and it sticks to everything. So it'll be all over your hands, and you'll, you'll transfer it everywhere, and you'll see gold glittering everywhere around you if you're not careful. So keep that in mind. Let me get back to work. i got quite a bit left to do, but getting a lot of gold, so I'm happy. Okay, that took a little while, but I've got all of the uh, fiberglass 
uh, circuit board finger pieces cleaned off. I washed all of the loose gold in the bottom of this container out, and it's all in this beaker. Not too shabby, huh? A lot of gold there. Looks like a lot of gold anyway. I don't want to get your uh, hopes up too high. These are very, very thin foils. Once you take the plating off of something, the gold plating off of something, you'll find that it's a very, very thin foil. They don't put a whole lot of gold on it. So even though it looks like there's a lot of gold there, weight-wise, which is what counts with gold, it's not a lot of weight. It's a decent amount, though. Don't get me wrong. But uh, I'm certainly not going to be running out and buying a Porsche just uh, with what's in this beaker, even though it looks like there's a lot of gold there. And what I'm doing is I'm, I'm slowly decanting off the bulk of this wash liquid. And I'm doing it through this filter that uh, I use to catch the gold. Because uh, I don't want any of the gold in this beaker to get lost. So I'll decant it off through this filter, which also helps clean the filter. See how nice and white the filter's getting? Getting rid of all those uh, nasty uh, um, base metal salts that were in the filter and turning it green. Now it's it's almost white again. So I'll decant off the rest of this liquid through the filter and then we'll be ready to start purifying the gold. Because this is not pure gold, it's not 24 karat gold. You could, you could take a torch and melt this down and you'd get a gold button, but if you take it to sell it you'd be a little disappointed because you'd find that it's not pure gold and they're not going to give you the 24 karat price for it. So we need to purify it a little bit, but that's that's a whole other section of the video. So first I'm going to, like I said, decant off the bulk of this liquid, get rid of most of it, and uh, clean up the contents of this filter because this filter has to go in there too. Because this, come on, there we go. Because the gold in this filter, and there's a fair amount of it, the gold in this filter, we want to we want to catch that too. So. So this stuff's ready for the garbage. It's it's worthless basically, and there's no reason you can't throw it in the garbage. It's just fiberglass scrap. Anyway, I'm going to continue decanting this off, and once I get it down to where it's pretty much just the gold, we'll start on the purification step. So keep watching. There, I decanted off the bulk of the liquid, and you can see how much gold foil there is in the bottom of this beaker. Plus, there's still a lot of gold in the bottom of this funnel once the water drains out. Well, in the bottom of the filter in this funnel once the water drains out. So, that's actually a pretty good, uh, pretty good yield from the amount of uh, fingers I started with. Still, like I said, I'm not getting rich, but it's a decent amount of gold. So, I'm going to let this uh, finish filtering through and pull the filter out and add it to this beaker here with the rest of the gold and then we'll be ready for the purification step. All right it's time for the next step purification. So I've got all of the, the gold over here that I washed off still a little bit of water in there not much and I've got this filter over here that I used for decanting uh, the, the liquid through it's got some gold on it. I'm just going to fold this up and drop it right in here with the rest of that. So all the gold is now in one beaker. Put that aside. So the next step is purification and that means I need to dissolve this gold in acid and then precipitate it from solution after filtration because there's, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's some dirt, there's, there's going to be pulp from the paper filter, there's little bits of plastic and conformal coating from the circuit boards. You know, there's all kinds of gunk in there besides just the gold. So, I want to dissolve the gold in acid. Um, once it's all in solution, filter it so I get a nice clean solution and then precipitate the gold out of solution. And it'll be clean gold then. And there's a couple different ways we can do this. We can use um, aqua regia. But uh, since I'm making this uh, video for beginners, most beginners can't make true aqua regia. They don't have access to concentrated nitric acid. 
Um, we could use poor man's aqua regia, which is probably within reach of most most beginners. Um, or we could use um, another method. We could use the hydrochloric acid and bleach method. Now, this doesn't work for like chunky gold very well, I've found, but for these really, really fine foils, thin foils, this works pretty darn well. This combination will dissolve the foils and create chlorouric acid. And then once we have all the gold in solution, we can filter it. So that's, that's the gold. Get the gold into solution so we can filter out everything that isn't gold. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to put in 200 milliliters of acid. And then we'll start adding pipettes full of bleach until we get the gold dissolved. So let me do that, add the acid off camera. Okay, there we are. The uh, I put in eh, probably not quite 200 milliliters of acid into this uh, beaker with the gold. Now hydrochloric acid on its own will not dissolve gold. It just can't do it. But if you add some agent that can oxidize the gold, then the acid can dissolve it. And there's there's quite a few different agents. You know, nitric acid, if you add it, will make uh, aqua regia and that will do it. Uh, concentrated hydrogen peroxide will work too. But this regular household Clorox bleach, believe it or not, will do it because I, they've always, they always tell you don't mix bleach and acid when you're cleaning, right? And the reason for that is because the result is chlorine gas. Well, chlorine gas will oxidize gold. And once the gold is oxidized, it can be dissolved in the hydrochloric acid. So I've got, you know, a pipette full of uh, bleach here, and I'm going to add it. Let's see if we can see what happens when I do. See the fizzing? That's chlorine gas being formed. Now, you need to be careful. This needs to be done outdoors, preferably in a fume hood if you've got one, because chlorine gas is nasty stuff. You know, it was... It was used during World War I to kill a lot of people. I'm doing this outdoors and it's quite breezy and I may actually move it into my fume hood later just so I don't have to breathe any of this if I wind up uh, downwind from it. So I'm going to put about four pipettefuls in here. Now this is a brand new bottle of bleach. I just opened it so it should be full strength. Bleach has been sitting around for a while, may lose its strength a little bit. You may want to get a fresh bottle. They're just pretty cheap. A bottle this size is pretty darn cheap. I think it was under two dollars. So the chemicals I'm using here are, are inexpensive and easy to come by. So we'll just let that sit a little while and see what happens. I probably don't have enough bleach in there to dissolve all the gold, but we'll just let it sit for a while and see what happens. I can always add more. Okay, after waiting about 10 minutes, not much was happening, so I added four more pipettes, or about half a pipette worth of uh, bleach to the uh, beaker, and I went off and did some other stuff for about 15 minutes and came back. And I don't know if you can tell, but the color is getting a distinct yellow to it, which is good, because that's yellow is the color of golden solution, so that's good. Uh, the reaction, I wouldn't call it vigorous, it's kind of a cool afternoon here by Florida standards. And uh, I'm using household bleach, which is not super concentrated. But uh, I'll bet it's getting the, the job done. One way we can tell for sure whether any gold is going into solution is do a stannous chloride test. I've got some freshly made stannous chloride over here. I just posted a video about um, how I make stannous chloride and uh, how useful it is for processing gold. So let me get a little bit of this solution out of here with a pipette. Just a few drops. Put it on a white spoon. Bit of a yellow color to it. That's a good sign. That's a good sign. Yellow is the color we want. And then let me get a few drops of the stannous chloride solution and put it on the spoon too. And let it sit and we'll see what happens. See the color start to change? Yeah. Purplish black. That is the color of gold. 
when you do a stannous chloride test. So we don't have a whole lot of gold in solution yet. That that reaction took quite a while to get started. So that tells me that the, the solution of gold in here is pretty weak. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to hit it with a few more pipettes full of bleach just to try and speed the reaction up a little bit. Put it on the hot plate too and warm it up a little bit. That would definitely speed up the reaction too. I don't want to warm it up too much because I don't want to boil the uh, chlorine out of the liquid solution because the chlorine is what's doing the job of uh, dissolving the gold in the acid. There, I'll leave that alone for now and we'll see what happens. Hopefully we'll get a significant amount of gold to dissolve here in the next few minutes. And I'll show you what it looks like once it starts dissolving. Well I went away and worked on a project for about 15-20 minutes. Came back and it's taking on a pretty deep yellow color. And looking at it from above I would say that somewhere between a third and a half of the gold has dissolved. There's not near as much gold in there as there was. So it's working, it's just taking its time. Probably because I'm using um, household strength bleach, which isn't very strong. But it is working. But I think I'm going to try and speed it up. I'm going to add a little more bleach to it. A few more pipettes. And just let it sit when I go about my business. It is working. And this is costing next to nothing with the chemicals I'm using. So I don't care if it takes a little while. I'll just let that sit and do its thing. And we'll check up on it again in a little while. Alright. I went away for... 20-30 minutes, worked on some stuff on my honeydew list, came back, and all the gold's dissolved. There's nothing left in here but the uh, filter paper and some sediment and some miscellaneous crap. All the gold is dissolved. So that's great. A few cents worth of chemicals and I've dissolved gold, made chlorauric acid. This is exactly the way I did it when I was getting started out. So all the gold's in solution. It's a nice yellow color. That's the color of gold in solution. The next step would be filtration. And then uh, dropping the gold out of solution. But that's going to have to wait for another day. Because the wife just came and told me I need to button up my mad scientist lab out here and come grill some steaks for dinner. And I'll tell you what, that's something on the honeydew list that I don't mind stopping this for. So I'm going to go do that, and then we'll pick up here tomorrow with uh, filtration and uh, dropping the gold out of solution. See you then.